Hey, how's it going, guys? My name is Marcel, and our friend uh, Cisco Soldier um, has asked me to share my experience at WGU. And um, currently, um, almost like three quarters of the way done with a computer science um, track, basically, for the IT. And uh, I would like to share my experience and also any tips or uh, helpful um, advice that I've encountered so far and then also the people that have helped me out along the way to get to this point. So a little bit of my background is um, I was uh, uh, laid off because of the pandemic and, uh, and my background is in logistics. So uh, after a couple of years just being in the logistics field, I decided, you know what? Um, I gotta find something else that I can upskill. And lo and behold, um, one of the people that I follow on Instagram um, had shared like an image basically um, celebrating that they had graduated from WGU and that was the first time I was exposed to it. So then I researched it and um, looking into it, I, at first, my first impression, I was like, okay, you know, is this one of those uh, degree mills? You know, let's do some more uh, research into it. And the more I looked um, at the background and then some of the people that were commenting on their experiences, um, whether it's Reddit, YouTube, or Slack, uh, I decided, you know what, this is a pretty good uh, route to do, not only because of the cost, but also because of the competency um, uh, route to it. So you get your courses done as quickly as possible per your ability or experience, um, or whatever you're comfortable with. Um, so my goal is basically accelerating. So I started earlier this year, uh, 2021, and the goal is to finish by December, 2021. So that's fingers crossed and no technical issues or any sort of uh, course snags that I hit along the way. But back to the computer science track, um, my experience with it was, for the enrollment process especially, is um, you have to have calculus done. So I didn't have calculus done. The most, the highest course that I ever took, whether it was high school or college, was uh, basically geometry. So uh, I went through straighter line to get my calculus credit in order to transfer it in, not only because it's cheaper, and two, because of some of the people that had posted with experiences at WGU taking the calculus courses, they said it was a lot easier, just the flow and um, basically like just the material that was presented, at least for the calculus route. So I ended up taking calculus and straighter line and then transferred it in during my enrollment process. So that is one of the key requirements to get into the computer science route. So you can transfer in credits, but if you don't have calculus in the last five years, then you have to either one, take it outside of WGU or take it in uh, WGU, I believe it's WGU Academy in order to uh, qualify for the computer science route. So um, at least my experience so far with it is um, math definitely is encouraged in this, uh, this route. So I've taken discrete one and also discrete two. Um, some of those concepts, if you have not taken it before or, you're, um, or you've took it a long time, it's really good to brush up on them in order to have a better experience while you're taking it. Um, because not only do you have to do, especially in discrete one, the first unit, I think that's where a lot of people snag in and it's the, the logic. So you have concepts that you may have not taken it before and you just, you know, it takes a little bit longer to just let it sink in. But once you're through it, it just becomes easier basically. So, uh, so that's, that's my experience so far with it. Uh, other than that, uh, the course instructors have been very helpful. Um, as soon as you hit like a snag or any questions regarding whether or not the material or any suggestions that they have that you will like to have resources, extra resources to help you understand the concept better, um, you can always ask them um, if they don't already provide it within their emails when they're introducing themselves with uh, at the beginning of your classes, you can always you know, 
email them or just set up a, a instructor appointment, basically. So, so far it's been very positive experience at WGU. Um, the only thing that I've had so far is just technical wise. And that was with uh, Project Plus Pearson View. Basically when I was in queue to take the Pearson View, I waited there for uh, for about an hour and they said, hey, you know, we'll get to you. And then after the, like about an hour or so, they just completely locked me out and says, hey, you know, there's an error. So I had to reschedule the exam. The second time around, I didn't encounter it. So it was a lot smoother. But other than that, I really haven't had any issues. Um, one of the things that I do recommend, though, when you're taking courses is to also make um, just like a list of the courses you have to take, whatever didn't transfer in or um, whatever you talk to your mentor with, which you know, mentors are like your number one access right there that for help or any sort of like, you know, direction sometimes. And it's crucial. I've heard other people say that if you don't have a, you know, like a mentor that, you know, that you flow well with, um, that they're helpful or anything, then, you know, you can always request to change it. Uh, but thank God I've had an amazing mentor. So any questions or suggestions that I have, whether or not it'd be like, okay, you know, this is my degree plan. This is what I feel my strengths are. Can I combine these classes one after the other uh, in order to basically just accelerate through it? So some classes, they do build up on each other. So when you find those, depending on what your major is, uh, definitely highly recommend it if you wanna get done a little bit quicker, but it's also convenient also if you just want to just take your time and then just take the classes in one term and then just go to um, the next term and then, you know, you just take it as you go. So everybody has a different background, different needs, uh, goals, and necessities, you know, and so forth. So um, that's one of the beautiful things about WGU, that it's so customizable to what your current situation is. So um, as for me, uh, my goal is to get the computer science degree uh, and try to get into the Georgia Tech the OMSCS program because what I want to do long-term career-wise is work with uh, machine learning AI systems and basically just work with that and try to implement, you know, any systems that I, depending on future career prospects uh, with it. So, um, other than that, as for the current, I'm currently taking discrete two and um, going through it so far been through chapter ones and chapter two it seemed pretty straightforward there are some things that you have to learn it's encryption or algorithms how to read algorithms what's a big o notations those are key to understand um, but so far it seems a little bit better than discrete one um, although discrete one and discrete two those don't really build up on each other because you know, discrete per se, it's not a continuous math. It's just you know, different things that build separately, but then you just jump a little up and they make sense, especially for the computer science field. So if you're not in the computer science field, you I don't think you have to worry about taking discrete, but then again, you know, I'm not familiar with the other concentrations. So um, other than that, I don't think I can share anything else. Oh yes, before I forget. So. During the process of um, basically applying to it, definitely take advantage of any scholarships or any grants opportunities, whether it's with the FAFSA or even WGO as well. They're pretty good about that. So um, definitely highly recommend you do that. Um, communicate with the scholarship office, with the enrollment counselor, any questions that you have, or any doubts or anything like that, you can just speak with them and they'll be very, very helpful about the next steps or just to make sure um, that this process is as smooth as possible. So it's, they're there to help you. And then in the event that you, know, you 
you feel like you need a little bit more help, you know, there's always Cisco Soldier. He's been awesome. And uh, his channel on YouTube, highly recommend that you subscribe to it. And also um, check out Reddit. You know, sometimes you just Google in the class name, the class number, and there will be students that are going through the same experience. And, you know, you can get some hints and also sometimes some very helpful uh, tips on what to concentrate on in order to get your um, objective assessment done and also your uh, project assessment. So there's always a lot of resources. That's one of the beautiful things about technology these days. You just Google it and there's a wealth of knowledge out there. You just take what you need and just run with it. And uh, whether you're thinking of applying or whether you're still in, uh, in the program, whichever program it is. You know, I hope you guys have an awesome experience and I wish you the best and just keep on going, keep on grinding. Just look at that light at the end of the tunnel 